The FIFA World Cup is the most prestigious and popular international soccer tournament in the world, attracting billions of fans and billions of dollars in sponsorship and broadcasting rights. Countries around the world compete to host the World Cup, hoping to showcase their facilities and infrastructure to the world and to boost their economies through tourism and other related activities. However, the World Cup has also been criticized for leaving behind a legacy of white elephants, large and expensive facilities that are no longer needed or used after the tournament is over. Many countries have built new stadiums and other facilities specifically for the World Cup, only to find that they are unable to maintain or utilize them after the tournament is over. These facilities often become a financial burden on the host country, and their maintenance and upkeep can drain resources that could be used for other purposes. In addition to the financial costs, the World Cup can also have negative impacts on the host country in terms of social and environmental issues. The influx of tourists and the construction of new facilities can put pressure on local resources and disrupt the lives of local communities. There has been numerous examples of communities being displaced or marginalized in order to make way for the World Cup facilities, and some critics argue that the benefit of hosting the World Cup do not justify these costs. The 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar has brought attention to the country's treatment of migrant workers. Many of these workers, hailing from countries like Nepal, Bangladesh, and India, have faced human rights violations as they seek employment in Qatar. Deepak, a metal worker on the Khalifa Stadium, said, My life here is like a prison. The manager said, If you want to stay in Qatar, be quiet and keep working. Many of these workers have paid high fees to recruitment agents in their home countries, ranging from $500 to $4,300, in order to secure a job in Qatar. These fees often leave workers in debt, making them afraid to leave their jobs once they arrive in Qatar. God knows there are days when I cannot continue. Everything becomes too much. The only thing that keeps me alive is the thought of my children, were the words of Saqib, a gardener from Bangladesh. In addition to paying high fees, workers also face poor living conditions, with many living in cramped, dirty, and unsafe accommodations, often with more than four beds to a room, in violation of Qatari law. Recruitment agents have also been known to make false promises about salary and job type, leaving workers disappointed and underpaid. Workers have also reported not receiving their salaries for several months at a time, leaving them unable to buy food, send money to their families back home, or make payments on their recruitment-related loans. Prem, who is a metal worker on the Khalifa Stadium, hails from Nepal. He recounts, My family is now homeless, and two of my younger children have been taken out of school. Every day I am in tension, and I cannot sleep at night. This is a torture for me. Those who dare to speak about their conditions or seek help are often intimidated and threatened by their employers. The company has my passport. If my sponsorship status changes, they will send me back and I have a lot of debt to pay. I want my passport back and the camp is no good. There are eight of us in one room. It's too many. But I cannot complain because they will end my job. These were the words of Muhammad, who maintained green spaces in the Aspire Zone. The 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar has brought to light the harsh reality faced by many migrant workers in the country. While the World Cup is certainly a spectacle and a source of pride for many countries, it is important to consider the long-term consequences of hosting such a large and expensive event. It is essential that the host countries carefully plan and manage the construction and use of the World Cup facilities to ensure that they have a positive and sustainable impact on the community. The World Cup is a celebration of the beautiful game and the global community it brings together. By ensuring that its legacy is one of positive and sustainable development, we can all contribute to the ongoing success and enjoyment of this wonderful event.